If your soil feels lifeless, hard, and dry no matter what you add to it, chances are the underground network that powers plant life is missing. When gardeners think of fixing dead soil, they often focus on compost, mulch, or worm castings. But there's something even more ancient and essential, something that lives in the shadows of every healthy root system, mycorrhizal fungi. These microscopic allies once blanketed the Earth's soils, forming invisible highways between roots and nutrients. If you've ever wondered how forests thrive without fertilizer or how native plants flourish in barren landscapes, this is the secret. Mycorrhizal fungi aren't just helpers, they are builders. They don't just follow roots, they fuse with them, forming symbiotic partnerships that allow plants to communicate, trade nutrients, and even send distress signals. And when introduced into dead, compacted soil, they trigger something pretty remarkable. They rebuild, slowly, silently, and well, permanently. Let's walk through exactly how they work, why they matter, and how you can bring them back to your raised beds, backyard garden, or even clay-packed containers. In healthy ecosystems, over 90% of plants form partnerships with fungi. Mycorrhizal fungi latch onto root tips and extend their own filaments called hyphae deep into the soil, far beyond the reach of the plant itself. So, these hyphae act like supercharged root extensions, you know, absorbing water, phosphorus, zinc, and all sorts of other nutrients. In exchange, the plant gives the fungi sugars it produces during photosynthesis. It's a win-win that's been evolving for over 400 million years. But in gardens that have been tilled, compacted, sprayed, or even left bare, these fungi often disappear. Synthetic fertilizers can actually suppress their development and, well, fungicides wipe them out entirely. And once they're gone, even compost and organic matter struggle to make a difference, because there's just no network left to move nutrients where they're needed. That's why adding mycorrhizae is like flipping the underground switch back on. The first thing these fungi do when introduced is find roots. Any root, whether it's a seedling, transplant, or established plant, becomes a launching pad. The fungi begin fusing with root cells, not just wrapping around them, but growing into them. This is where the magic starts. The root fungi fusion creates a gateway where sugars are exchanged for minerals and moisture. As the hyphae grow outward, they break through tight soil particles, opening up micropassages that aerate the soil naturally. In clay soils, this is especially powerful. Where water once sat stagnant, it now begins to drain better. In sandy soils, those tiny fungal threads help hold moisture near the roots. And in dry, cracked beds, these threads knit together crumb structure giving soil that spongy forest floor feel gardeners dream of. But the real transformation is biological. Mycorrhizal fungi attract beneficial bacteria, invite earthworms, and wake up dormant soil microbes. Over time, this sets off a cascade organic matter decomposes more efficiently, humus begins to form, and carbon gets locked into the soil. Even plant health improves. Fungi can help prevent diseases, resist drought, and boost nutrient uptake without any synthetic input. It's actually simpler than most gardeners realize. The most direct route is through inoculants. These are commercial powders or granules that contain spores of beneficial mycorrhizal species. These inoculants can be mixed with water and poured directly onto roots or just sprinkled into planting holes. The real key here is root contact. Mycorrhizae can't activate in empty soil. They need living roots to bond with. Another method is using composts, especially forest-based or fungal-dominant composts that already contain these organisms. Leaf mold from the forest floor is packed with fungal spores and can really jumpstart microbial life when added in thin layers around crops or blended into soil. Wood chips also help, not just as mulch but as a long-term food source for fungi. Over the course of several months, these chips slowly break down and, uh, support the fungal network as it expands. 
Finally, it's really important to avoid practices that destroy fungi. So, ditch the rototiller, avoid fungicides, and definitely skip the overuse of synthetic fertilizers. Once your fungi are growing, treat them like honored guests, because honestly, they're the ones doing the real work underground. One of the most surprising effects of reviving fungal life is, well, the smell. After about two to four weeks of healthy fungal growth, dead soil that once smelled kind of flat or even sour starts to take on this deep, earthy aroma, just like walking through a forest after a good rain. That's actually the scent of geosmin, which is produced by actinobacteria that thrive right alongside mycorrhizal fungi. You'll also notice worm activity increases as the soil becomes easier to navigate and, you know, richer in fungal biomass. Plants respond too. You'll notice the leaf color deepens and roots spread more easily. Watering becomes more forgiving as the soil retains moisture more effectively. And perhaps most powerfully, you'll see less disease. Fungal networks are known to protect plants by creating physical barriers and by boosting a plant's immune signaling system. In time, you'll find that what started as a fungal supplement has become a living underground infrastructure. It doesn't need reapplying like fertilizer, it keeps growing, and it sets the stage for long-term humus development, improved structure, and natural fertility. Dead soil isn't dead forever, it's just disconnected. The moment you reintroduce fungi, especially mycorrhizal fungi, you bring back the communication lines, the nutrient highways, and the invisible lifeblood of your garden. It's not a quick fix, it's a deep fix. One that builds year after year without requiring constant inputs. And once you've seen it in action, the roots wrapped in fungal threads, the soil crumbling like cake, the explosion of earthworms, you'll never go back to gardening without it. If this guide helped you understand the hidden power of fungi and inspired you to give your soil a second chance, don't forget to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share this with fellow gardeners. Let's rebuild the underground, one garden at a time.